Hey guys, I know I haven't made a video in a while, so I'm just gonna make a quick video on how to mod Pay the Heist. This is probably not going to be the longest video. It's gonna show you the basics of modding and how to get it done decently fast. Maybe not the fastest, but it'll show you how to use Bundle Modder and things like that. Uh, on a new up-to-date basis, because I know that the videos you may be finding when you try to mod aren't actually up-to-date. So, yeah, let's get into it. First off, you're gonna be you're gonna need some type of file editor, something that can use NVIDIA texture tools, so DDS files, uh, GIMP, Paint.net, Photoshop, things like that. That will work. I use Photoshop. I mean, I use Paint.net because that's what I'm used to. But you could use GIMP or even Photoshop if you have it. I'll put uh I'll put GIMP and Paint.net's downloads in the description if you want to use them. Alright, let's get on to the files. Now, what you're going to want to do is, uh, I'm going to quickly delete my Pay to the Heist mod extractions. Now, listen, it's fine, because uh, the way that you're going to be doing it should be exactly the same as me. So, for the extraction of the files, uh, you just open up your bundle modder. Uh, it should just be bundle mod patcher. As you can see, I have a few mods that I was testing, so there it is. Uh, you go to Game File Extractions, and here you have the the place where you want to extract the files. Usually, I'm pretty sure that the base would be an extraction folder in the game's assets. But if you change it to a certain folder, it should just work like that. And uh, if, if I were you, I check the every single bundle one. Because that would even put the spaghetti code files, so you should be able to find a few. Anyway, press the start button when you have your stuff. Press the start button once you have your pay to the heist assets selected and the extract folder. Now, if you have a decent computer, this should go pretty fast. And if you don't, I would suggest not activating the use every bundle. Because most of the files are located inside of the dedicated folders. And since I have a decent CPU, a Ryzen 7, it's going to go pretty fast for me. And I also have a 3050, so that would also help. But if you're running low and have something like integrated graphics or a pretty low budget graphics card, I would recommend just ex I would recommend just extracting the necessary files. Okay, uh, the files are extracted. So now with the files, as you can see. There's a ton of spaghetti code here since Dorentos actually made a mod for the game. And most of the files, if not all of the files, are in the spaghetti code stream. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to edit the M308 and the GL40 today. I may make a few more videos showing you how to edit the rest of the guns, but right now we will just be doing that. Alright, let's get into the modding. So, we're going to be editing the M308 and the GL40. Simply go into Units, Weapons, and look for the M14. This will be the M308. Grab the M14 DF texture, copy it, and go to a Mods folder that you should create inside of a separate folder. I wouldn't put this inside of your Pay to Heist Extractions because then it will just get confusing to try and find it. Slap that into a folder, and boom. Now, you go back to that, go to Units, Weapons, and then press the M79. This is the grenade launcher. You copy the DF texture, you go to your Mods folder, and then you go to your Selected folder. Boom. Here are the two files that we will be editing today. You get the M14 DF texture. Turn that into a DDS. Boom. Forget that. It's perfect. Now you go to the M79 and do the exact same thing. Open both of them. As you can see, mine opened in paint.net, but yours may open in a different program. Now, if I were you, I would, if you're in GIMP, turn off the transparency, and if you're in paint.net, simply put a layer under it as complete black. Alright, there you go. As you can see, this top texture is the wooden aspects of the GL40. This is the body. If you're looking for a body, don't place it on this long one. That is the place where the scope is mounted. This is the body. So, 
I'm going to quickly get some images I, I have. Now for this, I'm going to be creating a zombie skin for each of them. You don't need all of these, but if... Uh, yeah, you, do, you just don't need all of them. I grabbed all of this simply because I saw a skin that one of my friends wanted to create, so I decided to make it for them. Anyway, boom. Here's the scar, and here is the zombie skin. Copy that, go to you, make another layer, put it on top of the M308, and keep the canvas size. Just put that right there and it should be fine. If you're using paint.net, I would use an overlay. I don't know how GIMP works, but I do know that it kind of works like this. Anyway, there that is. Now, I would also grab something like this and just slap it somewhere. Since I'm just making a zombie skin, it's not going to be that difficult. So, boom, it's gone. Like that. Okay, there that is. Now, my first skin for the M308, I made a gold plating skin. I did it completely wrong. I thought that the top was the, uh, was the scope mount and the bottom was the skin. I was wrong. So that made me... <clears throat> so that made me create a kind of weird skin that did look decent. Now for the bottom layer. For this, I'm probably just going to create a gold lading, a gold plating. Simply just by using some yellow and some orange. Just like, press multiply and boom, you have yourself a nice little, you have yourself a nice tint. If I were you, I would just go ahead and... Oh, that on. Let's see. Okay. If I were you, I would just slap that down. Now, you should delete this black layer. Because look, it looks a lot nicer like this. Of course, this is how the game is going to read it. Just like this. So when you open up the game, this... If you did it just like me, this would be how your M308 would look. This being the scope map, and this being the body. Grab this, put it down, grab this, put it down, grab this, put it down, and finally, put that down. Now, there's the M308 skin. It's as simple as that. It's not difficult in the slightest, because the M308 is the easiest skin to edit. Now, let's go to the GL40. This one's a bit more tricky. Of course, it's not hard by any means. You just have three textures you can change. But, if I were you, I would not go ahead and try to edit anything on here besides the colors. Of course, if you're really confident in yourself and want to completely create an overhaul, I will let you do that. But for this, I will be creating a Pepsi launcher. Now for the top here, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is the place where it shoots, so here I'm going to create it white and gray. Create a brand new layer, yep. And create that gradient. Now I grab this, Multiply. No, multiply doesn't look good. Overlay looks decent. Ooh, I like additive. Alright, there's that. Now I'll do the exact same thing right here, and here will be the Pepsi logo. Now, as you can see, it kind of looks like a chrome plating, if not a platinum plating. Here, I will be using the Pepsi logo. As you can see, I just found the Pepsi logo. Now, simply open it, grab it. Control A it, copy it, create a brand new layer on the M79 texture list, and boom, paste it. Now, if I were you, I would simply just put it to a decent size, slap it in the middle, grab the rest of it, and 
backspace. Now with this, it's simple. Grab that, put that down, and it looks great. Combine that, and combine that with the background. Now for this, I would simply create a nice little additive, or maybe even color dodge. Now you want to make it to where you can at least see everything. But that doesn't look decent. Or it doesn't even look good, so overlay should work. Kind of should have it right there. Hmm. Whatever. It looks decent enough. As you can see, there is actually a little bit of... There's a little bit of a... There. Slap that down. Boom! Now, of course, delete that layer, and it already looks a little better. And this is exactly how the game will read it. Now, just close everything you need, close everything you don't need, and save these. Now, let's get on to the adding to the game. Go to create mod list, and simply just grab the file name. You would go to units, weapons, M79, and go down to M79 DF texture. Boom. Now all you do is browse, go to your mods, go to the thing, change this to that texture file, and boom. The game will automatically read that, add that to the mod. Now you do the same thing with the M14, simply units, weapons, M14, M14 DF texture. Open that. Change this to a texture file. And do that. Simple as that. Press the create mod, or if you're not finished, save this as a PD mod project. But I'm finished, so create mod. And I'm going to slap this in my finished products folder, save, and then now if you go to mods, you add mods, and then you go down, you work for the mod you just created, you activate it, and apply changes. X up bundle modder, X up that, and open your pay to the highest game. Alright, now all we do is go to a single player game, open up First World Bank, or just any heist will do, and play. Now, your files should be in the game. Just like that. It's as easy as that. This will be a tutorial on how to get that to work. Just press general and delete the file. Or just delete the box right in the middle. File. Import. Reform. Now if you go to downloads. For me, I don't actually have it. One second. Okay, I'm back. Now all you have to do is go to import, wavefront, and download. And that. Boom, here's the end of now for it, you go to that. Now you go to the object, you go to base color and change this to a image texture. You go to open and your documents, your mods, wherever it is. Boom. Now one second, I have to change it to a DDS. Alright, now you just open it. You go back to that same folder. And boom. Here's mine. Now, of course, it doesn't work since I don't have the correct one. Go to there, and boom. 
Now that's about it. That's all you really need to know for basic modding. You just need to know how to use Blender and stuff like that. I would recommend coming to the Pay to the Heist texture overhaul so that you can get some help from me, Playing Hazard, and Game Daddy. We are skin creators, and we kind of know what we're doing, I think. So we should be able to help you. Uh, if you just need help, you should be able to tag the at skin creator role, and if that doesn't work, just try and contact one of us through the server itself, and we should be able to help you with your issues. Bye!